Okay, what's going on everyone? My name is Mike Bouchard and today I want to talk to you guys about creatine monohydrate. So if you're into fitness at all, you may have heard of creatine monohydrate. Now, creatine is a naturally occurring substance in the body and actually happens to be the most studied supplement in the fitness space today. So the way creatine works in the body is that once you supplement it, you basically create a pool of creatine storage so that when your cells are producing energy, known as ATP, the ATP has more availability to grab on to those creatine molecules and give you that extra two to three reps in the gym. Now, those two to three extra reps can result into further gains as their program goes on. I know that in my training, I have definitely seen the results of creatine and supplementing it over time. It will take about two to three weeks to start feeling the benefits of creatine. Now, on the bottle, if you choose to buy a powder or capsule, whatever it may be, there may be a loading phase. Now, studies are mixed about this, where some say that the loading phase is very important, and others say that five grams a day is perfectly fine. Most pills will come in five grams, and then if you buy a powder, the scoop will be a five gram scoop, more than likely. Now, creatine monohydrate specifically is the one that studied the most. There are some, I believe there's one called creacolin, that tend to show more effects and better performance output and things like that, but the studies are mixed here. So creatine monohydrate is the one that is the most studied, is deemed safe, and definitely gives you the benefits in the gym. And it's very cheap. It's I believe it's like $22 for a five pound jug and that will last you months it's five grams a day so definitely make that investment so when you buy it just make sure that it's specifically creatine monohydrate and that's it there might be some flavored ones that will have more of an ingredients list but if you get the unflavored one just be sure it's creatine monohydrate and that way that you're not getting in added sugars or calories that you don't need or hidden ingredients that may not be safe for you so like I mentioned, five grams a day. If you want to do the two week loading phase, I believe it's 25 grams per day, uh, three scoop, five scoops of five. But in the past, when I first started taking it, I didn't do the loading phase and still reap the benefits of it. So that's your choice if you wanna go through that much powder in that short of time. Now those that are vegetarian or stay away from specifically red meat, your creatine stores in the body will naturally be a little bit lower. So especially those of you who follow that type of diet can benefit from supplementing it and basically getting it in in a different way. Now you don't have to be a guy to take this. Women also can benefit from it just as well as males can. And actually, even if you don't train in the gym, you still can reap the benefits. Like I mentioned, there's neurological health benefits and studies now are showing that it can fight diseases. Uh, I believe one of them was like Parkinson's disease and Within the next like five years, I have to say, you'll start to see creatine being supplemented into different areas of uh, the nutrition space rather than just targeting people who go to the gym and are looking to build muscle. Now, creatine comes in a pill form or a powder form and can be mixed in with your coffee or your water, your pre post workout meal, any liquid. Creatine will saturate your muscles over time. Uh, immediately it won't work, but it will take about two to three weeks to start to see the benefits of that. Some of the benefits include delayed muscle fatigue, uh, improved cognitive performance, and basically more of a toned look to your muscles because it brings in more water into the muscle cells as it is. So basically to sum it all up, it's very cheap, it's proven to work, it's safe to use, and it basically gives two to three extra reps in the gym by giving your cells more energy, resulting in more muscle growth. So this video was a little bit shorter. 
but I wanted to convey my thoughts on creatine. I think it's safe. I think you should try it. Um, you will see benefits if you take it consistently each day, five grams. And I'd love to know how you guys feel about it or if you take it, how you take it, and if it's helped you and things like that. So feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching. And there's more videos to come, so stay tuned. Uh,